Hi. Hi, you guys. It's Kimberly. I um, have been working on some new ATCs. I only have a couple available over on the Facebook group, ATCs, ATC Trades, Tips, and Tutorials. And so I needed to get a few more made. And so, so far, this is what I've come up with. Um, I'm, I've got to embellish these ones, ones with the girls on it. Um, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do those yet. I also have um, some more of these little phrases. I really like these phrases. It's going to be okay. Have a lovely day. You are so worthy of a beautiful life. I need to use that one somewhere. Don't forget to smile. You are braver than you think. And you've totally got this. Um, it's going to be okay. Some of them are bigger than the other ones. I printed them out bigger. But while I'm trying to figure out, I use this really cute music note paper. I think I only bought one sheet of it. Isn't that cute paper? I love it. And then I also have these. Um, dragonflies that I printed out that I want to put on some paper. So I'm going to find some paper to back these with. And I've already cut out a bunch of um, cardstock in black here, and I think that they'll look good on here. So right now I'm going to work on those, but it's very quiet in the house because the girls are gone and Scott went to a car show. He went to work this morning and then he just called and said that he got off and that he was going to go stop by a car show. And I, he's been working so hard. I said, yes, go. You so deserve some recreation in your life. And so he went and I was just going to stop by there for an hour or so. So I've been working on this, and I went into the kitchen to um, make some tuna fish. I was hungry for some tuna fish. And um, I got these really big garden-ripe tomatoes at the grocery store. And so I made some tuna fish, and I was cutting up a tomato to... Have you guys ever heard of stuffed tomatoes? Um, my mom made those a lot when I was growing up, and so that sounded really good to me. And then I started to reminisce a little bit because I remember my mom grew the most yummiest and gorgeous tomatoes. <clears throat> she loved to garden, and... Um, we had a garden in our backyard and she would just grow the biggest tomatoes in the backyard and so whenever I wanted a tomato I would just go out in the backyard and pluck a tomato off the vine and so <coughs> as I was cutting up this tomato I started to think about that and um, usually when I craft, I just really like it. So, you know, sometimes I like to play music in the background, but most of the time, if the house is quiet, I like to just have the quiet in the house. And so today, that's what I, you know, I've just had the quietness in the house. And so yeah, I was in the kitchen, it was really quiet, you know, and I just get lost in my thoughts and I'm reminiscing about, you know, the warm summer days and going out into the garden and 
picking a, a really ripe tomato and how the t you know how yummy the tomatoes are when they're ripe on right off the vine and you know they're warm from the hot summer sun and then I started to think how much life changes it's kind of pretty how much your life changes you know when you're a child and how you're so dependent on your family and how you never think that you're you, when you're growing up, you never think that your life is going to change, or you. I guess you never. You never stop and imagine how dependent you are on your family, or how. What your life would. You never stop and think of how your life would be without them. You know your immediate family, your aunt and uncle, your cousins your brothers, if you have sisters, your mom and dad, you know, all of those, pe your friends, all of those people that surround you in your life, you just never think of what it would be like without them. And then, you know, when you're, when you're older, like in my situation, all of those people that I had in my life at that time, I have none of those people. Oh, that's strange that I picked that red. And then look, I put this up to that. And it's, uh, I'm not going to do that. That's too much like Christmas. And none of those people that enriched my life or that were was in my life back then are in my life today. With the exception of my one brother, but he lives in California, and we can go months without even speaking to each other. You know, and it's usually when something tragic happens in our family is when we usually speak, you know. Lately, it's been when there's a death in the family. That's really the only time that in the past, you know, few years that we've had contact, you know. My grandpa died, and he contacts me, or my mom dies and he contacts me. Other than that, you know, we really don't have a whole lot to talk about. Fortunately, isn't that the saddest thing that, you know, the only time that you have anything to talk about with your family is when somebody dies. But that's the way that it is. Hold that thought. I gotta grab some more paper. Okay, so anyways. <coughs> okay, so anyways. Um, I was thinking, you know, how, how in my childhood, how all of those people that surrounded my life aren't even a part of my life anymore. How everybody that's in my life today, or how we go through different stages in our lives, aren't there. <coughs> you know, when... When I was growing up, I had this set of people around me, my parents, my grandparents, my brothers, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, my friends. <coughs> and then I entered another stage of my life and I had other circle of friends. You know, I had started to have my own children. And, you know, I've been married a couple of times. I don't want to tell you how many times. 
and um, so with that came a different circle of friends you know and then when I thought that my life was finally stable and I was set in a steady relationship and I had a good father for my children I was married for 18 years that marriage fell apart because he cheated on me. And then there you are again, you know, you're left again. And you're scrambling for other relationships. And, you know, then my relationships with my children fall apart. And, My relationship with in-laws fall apart and then people start to die and then, you know, new people come into your life via your grandchildren and more people exit your life. And so now I, I'm standing in my kitchen cutting this tomato, th reminiscing about my childhood and thinking to myself, the only thing that has steadily been a co constant person in my life are two people, myself and God. So who are the two people that you can truly only count on in this life? Who are the two constants in this world? Well, the two constants in my life have always been myself and God. It's pretty heavy. I remember I was having a conversation once with one of my children. And it was after I, um, there were a couple times in my life that I gave my life over to God. You know, you go through different times in your life and you, and you feel, you know, you feel closer to Jesus than at other points in your life, you know, and you feel closer and then you kind of you kind of walk back away, you know, fall further away from him and then you feel comforted by by him again and then, you know, when things start to feel comfortable again and you kind of start to feel like, well, maybe I don't need him as much. And you get further back, but this last time in my life is was like the time that I didn't let go. It seemed more real. I knew that it was permanent. You know, it was like truth. The only way like it became embedded. It became embedded in me forever. It was something that I couldn't let go of again. Like it was ingrained in me. Um, something that I couldn't let go of. I don't quite know how to explain it. That's really the only way that I can explain it. So, I was having a conversation with one of my 
kids. And they were having a hard time understanding this change in me. And I was trying to do my best at explaining it. And uh, my child got very, very upset because they asked me if um, I loved God more than I loved them. And I answered with, yes, God comes first in my life. And as painful as that was for them to hear, I can imagine, it was the truth and I couldn't lie about that. And in the place that my child was, instead of it being comforting to them, it was very uncomfortable. And that drove the wedge in between us. And um, well, that's where I'm at. Trying to understand all of it. So what could we put on this card? I don't see the word tomato. <laughs> How about embrace? like that. It's kind of what I'm doing right now as I'm embracing memories. If anyone thinks that it's easy road to travel being a Christian, it's not. Sometimes it's the harder road to travel in society's eyes anyways. Internally, it's an easier road to travel. Because honestly, we let go of... <clears throat> We let go of being judged by giving your life over to Jesus. You're no longer of this world, and you no longer are here to please man. Now, a lot of times. That's a big order to live by because we still we're still human and we still have human emotions and 
our feelings are still very tender and we still hurt and people can still hurt us but we have the tools and we know where to go when that um, when those feelings come to us we're equipped most of the time we're equipped And if we don't feel like we're equipped, we have each other to go to. That's why we surround ourselves with other brothers and sisters in Christ. Because we cannot do it alone. You guys believe my hands? You know what this ink is from? This isn't from doing art. This is from changing the ink in my printer today. Me and my printer don't get along. I hope it's not getting so dark that you guys can't see. I'm gonna turn this light on, but it just kind of makes it yellow. longer because I know that the lighting is terrible. Really can't cut too much of this one because I'll cut his wings off. I'm going to have to put this one on there straight. People are starting to make noise, so my poor little doggy is going to start getting all panicky. Might give her a Benadryl. I'm using my old driver's license. Um, just because this is what I had handy. But it's helpful if you've got something like an old gift certificate or credit card or, you know, gift card or something. Because then you don't have to use your finger to flatten this stuff out. Because I usually have ink and, and glue all over my fingers. And then when I go to spread the glue out, that ink and glue transfers all over the card and makes it all ugly. So let's see, let's pick some words out to use. How about um, come on you guys help me. I'm new with these little words. It's kind of hard to look for word 
words. Okay, I have it. How about... Now I lost the one I was looking for. Or that I... Embrace... your journey embrace memories embrace your journey and I think this is the last one I'm going to do with these music notes oh I didn't put a border around that one that's okay I can draw the border around it ordered some more glue off of Amazon, so it should be here next week. I'm going to sneeze again. Seems like in every video I sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. one, but I'm going to cut some of it away. Cut a little bit off of it there. just called me <laughs> and um Haley lost a tooth it's been loose for a while and um it's been bothering her when she eats so she called me and said grandma my tooth finally fell out <laughs> well her mom called said that her teeth fell out. And so I talked to Haley and I said, your tooth finally fell out, does it feel better? And she said, yeah. She said, there's a little bit of blood. What should we put on this one? How about Peace. 
these are kind of fun little stickers. I didn't chalk that one either. I guess I'm so excited to put the stickers on, I'm forgetting to, to chalk my edges. That's okay. We can... We can write with this. This isn't working. So I'm having to use, you know what, let's, no, that's too thick. Let's not do that. I'm using this thing, this deco color thing. It's paint. But I like it. I actually contacted them to see if they would send me some more to do a review on them. We'll see if they do. Um, I'm so bad about copying around these things that I scare myself. I usually always write right on the label itself. So I just go really slow. And if I happen to write on it, can always go over it with some white paint to cover it up, which is what I've done in the past. Okay, so this one I couldn't cut, or I would have cut the dragonfly. So I'm just gonna. I need to get some of those pins that don't bleed. What am I doing? I'm not even going in the right place. Oh well, I just ruined that guy. It's okay. It's just... I totally didn't do it right. I should cut that out, but I'm not gonna because I want to show you guys that sometimes I mess up. Actually, I mess up a lot. So now I'm gonna peel this off. Try not to rip up my paper. And paste that. I don't remember which one that was. I don't think I've got another. I should have another one like that. I'm not doing it, so that's okay. We'll just use this one, I guess. That was silly of me, but that was my edge, and it wasn't. It was part of the picture. Goofy, goofy me. It's okay, I'll stick this over the top of it. Gosh darn it. That was a silly mistake. Okay, let's try that again.
I don't know. You guys, where did life go? That was memories, wasn't it? That should be a big old long one. Journey. You guys are probably yelling it at me, huh? It was Journey. fingers are just too sticky and inky. So I'm going to push this down because it's white and I will definitely turn that black with my fingers. That one seems to be stuck down pretty good. Okay, embrace your journey. Okay, so I'll probably add some bling to this and give it a little bit of shine. And I can always print out some more and put it on those pap other papers that I tear out. I have a couple of other sheets of this too that it would probably look cute on. Yeah, that's cute too. But I have some other images, so I'll probably make some more. So I just wanted to get on here and do my little chattity chat with you guys and tell you a little bit what was on my mind about my tomato. So I hope you guys all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And God bless. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.